Okay, good morning and welcome to Ian Talina. And we're doing Shulchan Aruch Yomi, Hilchos Tefillah Simen Kuf Chav Beis. We're talking about the very end of Shimon Esrei. When you conclude Sim Shalom, you're supposed to say, and Simen Sif Beis, the Rabbeinu Yonah says, you're supposed to say Yilorotzon immediately. To start saying Elokein Tzor, or say Tachanunim, personal Makashas, if you choose not to say Elokein Tzor, you don't have to say Elokein Tzor. That was a later uh, introduction into the Seder Tefillah. Um, if you say Tachanun and we say that kind of story without saying Yilorot Tzor, essentially your Shemona is over. If you don't normally say Tachanun, right, and you just, which is really my man, I, really, I don't really say personal Makashas after. I end up doing, I, I do what it says in the Seder, I say Elokein Tzor. Technically, if there was no Elokein Tzor, I would just say, so, if you normally don't say Tachanun, you don't say Elokein and so So then, if you didn't say Yilorotzon, you're still in your middle of Shmon Esrei, to the point that you can't even ask and answer Kaddish and Kedusha. So what is this based on? Why? So, the, the explanation is a very simple explanation, that the whole point of Tefillah is Bakasha. You're asking Hashem for certain things. I've explained in another shiurim that you really talking to yourself and trying to figure out what you need to do with your own life. And based on that, you make precautions to Hashem, but really they should be aware of what things that you need and want. So the, the structure of Shemona Esra is the first three brachos, you're, you know, you're coming to in front of a king, the Melech Malachim, and, and you pay his praises. Then you ask 13 brachos of Akashas. And then you have three brachos where you're, you know, you know, distancing yourself from a person and hoping that you're appeasing him, that he should give you what he wants. And the conclusion is that heal the rots on my feet, right? Just like Hashem Svasai Tiftah, where it's taken by the, the, the grand door of Hashem, Hashem Svasai Tiftah, or Fi Yagi Til Asacha, you should say your praises, and you start off saying the first three brachos of his praises of Hashem. Also at the end, which is a, the last three brachos, is to thank Hashem for listening to you, giving you a chance, and hopefully that will do your Ritzonos, Ritzena, Hashem Elkenu. So you you the rots on in my feet that what I said should be appeasing to you that Hashem should fulfill what I asked for. So that's really the conclusion of your Shmon Esra. It's like taking three steps back, three steps. It's like Evid, the Gemara says, Evid on Niftar Mirabo. When you leave a person and you're asking the king, you take three steps back for the Shalom honor. That's sort of what you heal the on in verbally is doing. You do also take three steps back, but verbally it's accompanying those three steps. So that's still part of your Shmon Esra. It's connected to the last three brachos. However, if you start saying Bakashos again, wait a second. So I'm talking about, I say about 13 Bakashos. Then I thank Hashem for listening to me. And then all of a sudden I start asking, you know, some people have this minute to say a million Bakashos. They can have long Shmon Esra. Why do they have such long Shmon Esra? This is what I, when I was, when I was davening a long Shmon Esra, you know, 15, 20 minute Shmon Esra, I had a lot of Bakashos. Bakashos for Shidduchim and Shidduchim and Shidduchim to get married. You know, and this should work out. Clarity and Shaduchim, and I should meet the right girl, and move to Eretz Israel, and have money, have Parnosa, everything should be the best. The best of the best. You're doing that after Shmona Esh, right? Because I once used to do it in the middle of Shemaya Tvila, and Rav Aram Chadash at the mirror told me, no, don't do it in the middle of Shemaya Tvila, because you're in the middle of Tvila, you make mistakes. So you say, say all your Makashas for the end. But here, Bez, Halacha Bez, ain't nothing no more Tachrin and Kodan Yilor Adzai. It's not proper to say that. So the way out is really to say, Heal the Ratzon first, then say the kind of and ask your Bakashas, and then heal the Ratzon again. But the truth is that just even if you're saying heal the Ratzon because you want to end your Shmon Esrei, so if you end your Shmon Esrei, your Shmon Esrei is over, right? Technically, heal the Ratzon is like leaving, you departed from Hashem. So to make Bakashas after you departed doesn't make so much sense. The whole concept doesn't make so much sense. So what's the answer? The answer is don't say heal the Ratzon. Start Tachanun, and once you start Tachanun, we know the halach is. You can answer Kaddish Kedusha. Because essentially your Shmon Esrei is over. You've jumped, you asked Bakashos, you thanked Hashem, and then you start asking more Bakashos, personal Bakashos, your deepest Bakashos, then you start asking and you spend the 20 minutes doing that. You're detached from Shmon Esrei, you're going in the wrong order. That's not that's not the proper order based on the way Sakhazar is talking it. That's why there's such a kapeda over here in the halacha that you shouldn't say, you shouldn't say Tachanunim after your Tefillah. You had the opportunity during Shmon Esrei. That's why I really people think people shouldn't dominate as long as Shmon Esrei. Because most of that time is being spent at the end of the Shmona Esrei, where they just continue and continue, you know, asking for these personal bakashas and saying the name of 100 people, 100 cholim they have written in their sitter. I don't know. You know, say that in, in Rafa'inu, you know, say it in the, that's what 13 brachos are meant to be very particular. So we talk about what we need in those brachos. So if you don't want to say that, say in Shemayat Tefillah, that's what I highly recommend. They have to say these halachos. It doesn't make sense to ask Tachanunim to ask for things after, you might want to ask Hashem that he should, he should, he should listen to my feels and he should do as I want, or I should do as 
I think I need, I want. But to start asking new bakashos is like going backwards over here. And that's why Akbeda and Alakha is that the Rebbein Yonah says not proper to ask the Akhanunim. So what do we do? We say Alakai Nitzra, we end the Shmona Esra, and then you start saying Alakai Nitzra, and you start 20 minutes of bakashos. But you're done with the Shmona Esra. Either way, you're done. So it doesn't help your bakashos. That's what I think. So basically, if you have bakashos, my advice to you is that either you say in the middle, you can say in the middle of every bracha, uh, when you're asking Parnasa, you can m- mention, you can start talking personal bakash to Hashem about Parnasa, specific Parnasa that you need, uh, or Rafainu, or Rafua, or Achonin Das, for intelligence. Uh, and if you don't want to do that, Shemayat Tfil is the right place. That's a general uh, bracha about all the bakashos that you need. But once you started saying Ritzay, and you're in the brachas of Hoda, you got to end your Shemona Esra, heal the Ratzon. You're ending, you're thanking Hashem. You already made your Bakashos. Don't go back uh, and start saying Bakashos. Either your Shemona is over, but you said you heal the Ratzon. And if it's not over, it's not proper to be asking Bakashos now, be ruining the Tzura, the design that Chazal instituted when they formulated Shemona Esra. I hope you enjoyed today's share. See you on the next one.